the bet, or raise, put more money into the pot, or they can fold, throw their cards away. Once this round of betting is over, the dealer reveals the flop, three communal cards dealt in the middle of the table. More betting follows, then comes a fourth card, known as the turn card, and a fifth card, the river. Players must make the best five card poker hand using the seven cards available. Once the betting is over, the players reveal their cards and the best hand wins the pot. One down, seven still playing in this heat of the late night poker masters. It's good. 300 to play, chip leader now, Romero from Great Britain, who's having the time of his life. Lying Dutchman. It's now or never. He's got a voice of his own. It's a button play for Joe. Big hand here. Yeah. Perfect. Raise, yes. raise it up. <coughs> Joe Beavers has faced off against world class players in Vegas, in Europe, in Australia. Travelled the world, played the best. Yeah, I mean, you think back to the first late night poker. Joe was uh, good then. He's become world class. And this is going to unfortunately give him an opportunity to do his dough. Kenna James has flopped two pair. Yeah, and look at this. Kenna James taking the uh, unorthodox. Instead of uh, checking for the continuation bet from the prefoot raiser, he's actually going to bet out in the hope that Joe Beavers has an over pair. 900. It's a pretty big bet. Raise all in. All in from Joe Beavers. He's caught. Oh, and look at Kenna James. Yep. He's called instantly. So well, Joe Beavers has made a mistake uh, here. <coughs> if he had ace, queen of diamonds, you could understand it with two overcards and a nut flush draw. But yeah, at the moment, he's <laughs> drawing very, very thin. Three thousand. <laughs> yeah. Three, Joe thought that that fast <laughs> bet looked weak, water. Simon. <gasps> oh! Yo. Oh, that's three. the end of that. And it's all over. Oh, yeah, it Kenna, Nine times out of ten, that bet looks weak. Kenna realized that Joe would be thinking that. It's just it's world class stuff. It's been a tough journey, you know. I mean, you imagine in the old days they took the ships across, you know, uh, across this pond, a very large pond, and they probably were pretty ragged when they uh, got at the end. Well, that's about how I feel today. Uh, you know, it was a rough and uh, bumpy flight here, but I'm, I'm glad to be here, um, and I'm really excited uh, to face the competition. It's a field of world-class players, so uh, it's going to be uh, an exciting event. Scared I just don't show it. <laughs> <laughs> it's all inside. Beavers will have two hands before the big blind comes back. Oh. And here he goes again. This time it's going to cost them 800. Anything playable. Beavers actually has a chance now to win the blinds. 800 enough to make players fold. <laughs> Can you give him a 20-minute Well, Matt Dow, he's thinking, well, do I just call here and, <laughs> and you know, Jonathan like Romero might re-raise, or do I put a raise in myself and isolate it heads up? Seven. I think that's probably the best play here. Cheap. I'll call. Good. Pass. Well, he's just called. I mean, it is more this time, I suppose. <laughs> well. it's, it's 650 for Jonathan Romero. It's 500 Pass. for Ben Roberts. Yeah, and please we're heads up, oh, and uh, Joe yeah, Beavis yeah, is in yeah, front, yeah, but it's 50-50. Yeah, 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 Not really a clear-cut yeah, play either way from Matt Dale. I mean, folding is maybe possible, but uh, he's not in bad shape here. Beavers just wants to hold him. Joe's down to 1-4 now. Ben Roberts folded a four in the big blind. Be a little bit harder this one. Let's see the four. Yeah. Tiny little this little is little very little difficult. Little very little few little outs little for little Joe little Beavers, little and little I do believe this is his swan song. Is a deuce. One the more elegance. <laughs> he started out low, came back, went That's down, and now no way. out in seventh position. Thank you. Yeah, Joe oh. Beavers. Right, he had the right hand on the button. But at the right time, Kenna James called from the big blind. He caught a monster flop, and really that was the hand that damaged Joe. And uh, all his chips went in in front, but it wasn't enough. He's around the table shaking hands. And he's our seventh place finisher. Joe, you're such a favorite here, such a great late night poker record, but was tonight a night when nothing went well? Um, I went in there feeling great. 
I, I'm not particularly happy with uh, the decisions I made throughout. I think I made a couple of bad decisions. Um, on a different day, I might, might, I might have played the hands differently. So, I promise I'll do better next time. <laughs> Raise the limits, raise the blinds. Two and four hundred oh, now, man. and Kenna James encroaching on Jonathan <laughs> Romero's chip lead. It's all James lately. <laughs> DD for a double dame. And uh, Teal, this is the first time we've seen him do something like this, Simon. What's this about? Well, he saw Marcel do a first position oh, raise, and I mean, there's only six players out there, and. Unless somebody wakes up with an ace or a king behind you, a big pair, they're unlikely to call you. Well, Marcel likes this sort of hand. King, queen suited. There's a lot of ways to play this. Uh, there's no ways passing, I can tell you that. 900 to call. That's exactly what Marcel has done. Right into the mouth of the lion. But Lusk is the one who holds the main. Two players. Two great players, and Lusk has hit the flop. Jurgensen with a chance to do his dough. Bet 1,000. Little elevation. Raise to 2,000. Minimum raise. It's about a minimum bet, a minimum raise. And I do believe Tia was all done. We all know that Tao Jurgensen, there's nothing he can do about this. Re-raise to 3,000. Well, this is, uh, there's no way that Marcel's just gonna re-raise all in. Cool. What was that about? Teal's playing a very strange game. He's drawing dead to a six right now. And most of the money is in the pot. Now that is why Marcel is a true champion because he knows well, that if he yeah. had checked on the turn, Tao Jorgensen would represent the flush. I don't know how to get out of this one. I try. So instead, Marcel Lus made the bet so that he wouldn't be put to the decision. What a phenomenal play there by Marcel Lus. If, if somebody gets low stacked and they're willing to give up uh, quicker and to call and to go for it, uh, the idea is to find a big hand and set somebody up and double or stay out of it as long as possible and then double up again with, with any playable hand. For a chance to win an all expenses paid trip for two to Las Vegas to include flights, accommodation and spending money courtesy of PartyPoker.com, answer the following question. Where is the World Series of Poker held? A. London, B. Monte Carlo or C. Las Vegas? Channel4.com slash poker to enter. Marcel up to a uh, third chip lead of 10,500. And uh, Tao Jorgensen, well, you know, he's only got 1,500 now. Comes in time. Pass. 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 Raise all in. Ben Roberts is raising all in here. He's basically saying, right, I've just got you two behind me. I don't want to be re-raised if I make a standard raise, so let's just pick up the uh, blinds. If you didn't go all in there, I would have gone all in there. Yeah, very brave. <laughs> <laughs> very brave. <laughs> 14 and, sure? no, 15 in total. So, Teal or in? Teal calling for 1,100 more is not much of a hand. Teal Simon, eight, it seven. seems a bit Nine, desperation eight, from Jurgensen. He's got two live cards. Thank you, that was the best he could hope, Phil, uh, T.O. Jorgensen, and just fun. fancied that this is his chance to get back into the game. Comes ten wow. And he is in Oops. trouble. Queen Top queen pair for Ben Roberts, best yeah. hand holding up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jorgensen needs very runner, very runner. Very needs a spade Nine on the turn. Oh, well, he's hit a spade on the turn, Jesse. Spades. Another spade, and he makes yeah, a flush. Uh, T.O. has the seven of spades, a flush draw. You saw this happen earlier with Joe Beavers. Can it happen again? Last card. Seven off no. the card. Pair seven too late. Three. Yeah, seven not enough. And uh, Tao Jorgensen. Good luck. Maybe That's try to outplay the master Marcel Lusk in the, the hand one that one crippled one him. Just he had a few yeah. moves in him. It's been great to have him on the table, but he'll be leaving us in sixth place. We're down to five.
Well, unlucky. You had to go in there. But really, it was the hand against Marcel, wasn't it, that was key? It's, it's 